Is Hollywood losing its touch? Beloved franchises are bombing, sequels are sputtering, and some big budget flicks are leaving audience feeling more meh than wow. But wait, there's more to the story. This is not your grandma's Hollywood anymore. Streaming giants are shaking things up. Superhero fatigue might be real, and audiences are hungrier than ever for fresh original content. So, is this the end of Hollywood as we know it, or is it just a time for a major plot twist? Let's unfilter this concept of so-called wokeness because Hollywood is still alive. There was an era when we used to say that hey, if you want to see the golden world, then it's Hollywood. You will get the colors, the glam, the glitz, but something has changed which is now not only making a bad impact on this beautiful world, but also spoiling everything for the newer generations. It would be no surprise if I'll call pre-COVID era as the peak of Hollywood. We got multiple billion dollars IPs. The Avengers, Justice League, Frozen Saga are just the tip of an iceberg which is hiding deep in the ocean full of emotion and nostalgia. But post-COVID period has changed everything. In fact, it all started back in 2019 when we got locked in our homes and streaming services landed in our lives. It was the beginning of the end, the end of something that we truly care about. It's been 3 years since COVID-19 pandemic and no wonder why these streaming platforms are now so dominative that every other project gets a separate premiere on our small little screens. It's comfy, affordable, and more importantly, on our fingertips. We can literally stream anything from anywhere at any time. So why should we go in theaters? Its impact can be seen in recent year. I'll deal with both the companies and the viewers' perspective. But first, let's get back in the time when we were trying to get back of the deadly virus. 2022, and we got our theatrical release of multiple projects. The first victim was Disney, who landed with their strange world and got bombed so badly that now they even started ignoring the question related to that project. Conditions of Marvel and DC is no different. However, despite all these factors, who was at fault? Long story short, it was the poor marketing strategies of these companies, coupled up with some bad story takes. I'm not gonna use the term woke because it's so common nowadays that people are using it in their day-to-day -day lives, and I'm damn sure that most of them who are busy in calling woke doesn't really knows what it really means. All they know is to blame the companies and call them woke, woke, and woke, without even realizing that how woke they themselves have turned. The time period between 2021 to 2023 was more like a dark era for many Hollywood giants. Disney was celebrating 100 years, but with a movie which was barely touching their classic era. But it doesn't really mean that only they are at fault. It is us, the audience, who is making them go broke. I'm not gonna deal much with their storyline because that's a very different point. Thing is, we are barely showing up in theaters. As per the data, the Flash movie got bombed at box office. But why? We were busy in boycotting this movie, and that's why we didn't really went to watch it. But as soon as it got premiered on their HBO Max platform, it went from zero to multi-million dollars. It was a matter of few weeks when a flop movie earned a whooping profit from streaming services. And you know what? We were calling it as boycott. Let me know what type of boycott it is, because I'm really confused at the moment. The irony is that first we want to show up in theaters, that will directly affect the overall performance of any project, and then we'll call it as flop. Just for the sake of those money numbers, which will be looking quite low, people have to understand that it is not the fault of Hollywood companies, but it is the responsibility of the audience to go and watch it in theaters. The reaction is the totally other thing. But now that I've touched the term reaction, then let's deal with their storylines as well. We want originality, something that can be watched together during holidays, and something which can be played again and again when it comes on streaming services. But are we getting any? Streaming platforms are indeed making a bad impact, but studios are also busy in promoting their own propagandas. The present condition of Hollywood is very biased. They want you to watch what they want to make you believe in. It is the line they are following at the moment. Of course, not every company and project is same. We have got Willy Wonka, then Barbie, Oppenheimer, and more. Then we are gonna get some other big projects. However, they are not able to stay consistent. They comes up with couple of great movies and then drops their standard just for the sake of their what we call as woke content. But I'll call it as a downgraded theme. Look at the plot of the Marvels. Then look at Shazam 2. What about Black Adam, Pixar's Lightyear, and Disney's Wish? All these movies are sharing a lot of potential, but they have totally wasted it. Now it's funny to see that an upgraded content nowadays is referred as an in terms of sequels. However, despite all those failures and struggles, I would say that Hollywood is healing itself. Of course, the process is slow, but it will eventually take us back in. If not in the golden age, then in the silver era for sure. DC is rebooting itself, and Marvel is bringing us multiple big and hopefully the perfect projects. Disney is going on the path of sequels, but all of them are gonna work. Other companies are bringing us our legends like Mission Impossible 8, Scream 7, and more. 
so hopefully the thing will work in right way. But above all, it is important for both the audience and the studio to maintain a healthy ratio between their streaming and theatrical experience. Because that what is making the big difference between the success and the failure. At least go and watch this project rather than sitting like a fool and waiting for it to land on your small screens. Not every movie is worth our wait, but those which are building a hype should be watched in theaters. Still, we are lucky that companies are all set to make a comeback, and we are at the middle of their recovery. I could have filtered all these stuffs, but this was the unfiltered episode 1. Share on your feedbacks and I'll be coming next week with another awesome episode in an unfiltered manner. Till then, thanks for watching, stay safe, peace out.